Hi, I'm Dr. H from Magic Experiments, where science should be fun and available to everyone. Today i got a whole bunch of volunteers to help me. What are we doing today, Dr. H? Today we're going to make an experiment called the Magic Hand. Cool! So, what we're going to do is, each one of you have two cups with a chemical in it, a brown chemical. Alright? So, I'm going to ask that each one of you, I'm going to pour the other chemical and these two chemicals will react together to make a polymer, okay? Now, a polymer, like I said in the other videos, is some two reactions and it will grow and become bigger and bigger and then the two liquids will actually become solid, all right? So, I'm going to add some of the yellow liquid, okay, into the cup. It's going to foam up just a little bit, okay, because there's a little bit of, of air inside it, okay? Okay, I'm going to try to pour it without making a lot of air, and Angel, if you give me your cup, alright, and I'm just going to pour it on the side so it doesn't make so much air. It's like pouring a drink, okay? So, we're going to have that, okay, we're going to let it settle down, take your pipettes, okay, and just touch the top of the liquid to pop it, okay, just pop it. Angel's, yours looks like it's almost down already, so you can add your food coloring to it, okay? Pop the liquid. Now, while you guys are going to do that at home, I'm going to try to show you how a polymer, two liquids, will react and it will grow, all right? So, I'm going to add one chemical to one finger, okay? Okay, you guys add your food coloring, okay? Okay. Okay. Once you add the food coloring, mix it up, okay? Get it nice and mixed, please, okay? And while I'm doing the magic hand, you guys are going to do the other experiment so everyone can see what happens, okay? So while it's all mixed, I see you guys got the colors good. Okay, now take your brown cup, okay, and mix that into the color, okay? And then go and stir like, like we did with the food color, okay? Okay. Now, what you're going to see with the magic hand, and I'm going to put that in the middle, okay, so you guys can see it, but the polymer is actually reacting. Okay, so once you mix it, leave it alone, set it down, leave it in the middle of the table, okay? And what you're seeing is that the two liquids actually are mixing together, reacting, foaming up, leave it sitting on the table, okay? And look at the hand, what's going on with the hand? All right, so remember the hand, remember what the glove was before. The polymer is reacting and, and growing out of the hand. But look what's happening to the liquid. So there, look at Angel's cup. And look at Melanie's cup. Yours okay. is overflowing. Okay, so it's starting to react. So that's the example of a polymer, okay? It just keeps reacting and reacting and keep making more and more friends, okay, growing out of the cup. Now, what you can see is that the hand actually grows. Now, with Stephanie's, it's, it's taking a little bit longer, but that's okay. Oh, there it goes. I just need a little touch, okay? And then it's growing out of the cup, okay? So this is an example of a polymer. What do you guys think? Cool. <laughs> so here's what will happen at the end. The two liquids will actually form and you can mold it into different shapes. So actually, look, two liquids. Here's the gas. The gas is actually what's pushing the liquid up, okay? And if you touch it, it's solid as a rock, okay? So this is an example of two liquids reacting together to form a solid, okay? It's an example of a polymer. Now, what do you think, where do you think you can find this? Does anyone know? Um, what about when you go swimming? What does it look like? That noodle? Yeah. That's exactly what they make the noodle out of. So, if you want to learn more about this experiment, you want to check it out. Check us out at magicexperiments.com.